good morning, Dave. Ah, bonjour, Catherine. Did you sleep good? Yes, I did. How about you? Yes. Now, let's go downstairs and make our and the kids breakfasts. Okay, we are now here in the kitchen. What will you be having for breakfast this morning? I'll get scrambled eggs. How about you? I'll get chocolate chip egg and waffles. Okay. I'll pour Brian and Emma each a bowl of Apple Jack cereal for when they wake up. Good morning, kids. How did you both sleep? Good. Good. Cool. As you two can see, there is a bowl of Applejack cereal for each of you there. Oh, that is the EAS sound. Let me go check my phone to see what it says. Oh my god, there is a tornado warning in effect for Beyond City until 8.45 a.m. It says to take shelter now. Come on everyone, let's go in the basement, the safest spot in the house from a tornado. Oh no. A tornado warning. Water. I don't want a tornado to hit. Dave, there is a tornado warning, and there is nothing any of us can do about it. Let's go downstairs in the basement now. And kids, I just got our text message from the school department saying that due to the tornado warning issued, all the on-city public schools will be closed. Why did there have to be a fucking tornado? I don't want a fucking tornado. I don't get it. The end city has never hit tornadoes before that I know of. Why all of a sudden a tornado is going to hit the end city? Well, Dave, it's because of climate change. Why? Why is the climate changing? It's because of these things, rapid industrialization, energy use, agricultural practices, deforestation, consumer practices, livestock, transport, resource extraction, and pollution. Which is why we all need to play a role to help fight off this climate change. Now Dave, seriously, you need to stop your crying. You're an adult, not an infant. I'm not an infant, Catherine. I'm just upset because there is a tornado that is going to hit the next city one. Dave, will you please stop? But I am so oh 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 worried that the tornado is going to hit our house, which would mean that the house would be destroyed and all of our belongings would be lost. Well, all we can do is hope for the best. Are you keep up this behavior? I will throw you outside so that the tornado can suck you up if it comes towards here. Why? Why would you throw me outside for a tornado to suck me up? Because I would have had enough of you. So I would cut this shit out if I were you. All right, all right. I'll stop and shut my mouth. That's the spirit, Dave. Um, Catherine. I'm getting kind of bored. Can I go upstairs and watch something on Paramount Plus? No! It's not safe to go upstairs at the moment. If you were near your laptop when you learned about the tornado warning, you could have brought it down with you and downloaded Paramount Plus onto that if you currently don't have it on there. So now, you're just going to have to sit here and do nothing. Why? I want to watch Paramount Plus. Why does a tornado have to come to the end city? Why? Dad, I thought you agreed that you were going to keep your mouth shut for the remainder of the time of us sheltering down here. Yeah, me too. Dave, I told you that if you were going to keep it up, I would throw you outside so you would be sucked up by the tornado should it approach this area. Last warning. Ugh, fine. That's the notification sound on my phone. Let me check to see what it says.
Oh, it's a notification from the News Channel 7 app, saying that the tornado warning is over. It's 8.46. I wasn't really paying attention to the time while we were sheltering down here, but I really wanted to make sure we were safe during the next half hour after we got the tornado warning. Now, let's go upstairs to finish our breakfasts. Why? My waffles are cold now. Why? Yeah, my scrambled eggs are cold too. Really, Dave? You're crying over cold food? Come on now, you're 36. Mom, why didn't you mention about taking our breakfasts with us downstairs while in shelter? Well, excuse me, Brian. I was in fear that the house was going to be destroyed, in which it didn't luckily. Oh, okay. Now, Dave, I can toast you new waffles if you want me to. I'm going to make new scrambled eggs. If you want me to toast new waffles for you, promise me you'll stop this childish behavior. Okay, Catherine, can you toast me new waffles? Can you toast me new waffles? What? Can you toast me new waffles, please? Sure thing, Dave. As aforementioned, I will be making new scrambled eggs for myself, too.